Today I'm going to show you two ways to create repeat regions to display family table information and drawings. There it's going to involve the use of 2D repeat regions and simple. First we're going to create a 2x2 two two table as the basis for our 2D repeat region. And we're going to go into the properties and look at the properties here and we'll see there's a default growth direction now in Creo Parametric. This didn't exist previously and remembering the selection methods was a bit difficult. So now we just need to remember one selection method and we can later change the growth direction to fit our needs. So we'll just go OK and go into the repeat region menu to add 2D repeat region. So we'll need to pick these cells for the corners in the growth direction. So we'll pick the upper left and then the table expands rightward and downward. So we'll pick this cell here and we'll just pick this one again for the upper border of the row and column subregions as noted down here. That just means this row up here is going to be all parameter names. This column here is going to be instance names. So this is going to be all the parameter values. So that's it. It says it was created successfully and we can switch symbols and it looks correct. We'll switch them back and hit OK. And then what we want to do is enter parameters one of two ways. You can either double click and we're going to enter the family instance name in this column here. And we'll do double click again and do the family table instance parameter names. So that'd be the top row there. And now we want the parameter value. So another way is to pick a cell, right click and go to report parameter. So we'll go fam inst param value here and update tables. That looks good. What we'll notice here is that the text does not quite fit in the cells. These four columns are part of the repeating portion of the repeat region, so they all will be controlled at the same time if we change the width of one of these columns. So to get the widths to suit your needs or auto-adjust, we can go into the Drawing Setup file. And to get to the area where repeat regions are controlled, we can just quick tip hit 2 and tab over. It'll scroll down for you so you don't have to keep scrolling up and down. And this is the option I want to change. So we'll add that one in and close out. And what we can do then is update the tables and we'll notice the widths changed to be desired and we can select this column. I was just using the right click and we'll go in the right mouse button menu and select width. And we'll change this one to 14 characters. And now that looks pretty good. One thing I want to point out is the order of the columns is diameter, hex height, hex size, and shaft height. This is a, kind of a default sort method set in the drawing setup file as well. So if we go down to the same area again, we'll just hit 2 and tab over. And we'll see there's a sort method in region, so the default is, a, is delimited. There's some other options, but uh, usually what I see customers wanting is to control it to be the same as the family table in the part. So we'll go in the part and just see what that looks like just to show you. We have shaft height, diameter, and then the two hex options. So to get that, what we want to do is go in the repeat menu here and pick on the sort regions menu, select the table, and just check no default. And now we can see the columns are the same as what was in the family table in the part. Next we're going to cover a repeat region using simple repeat regions to show the family table information. So we're going to need a table with the same number of columns in the family table. So we're going to need five. And then we're going to need two rows. We can put all the header information at the top manually and these are going to be each individual simple repeat region. So we'll start creating those. And you just need to select each cell twice. And then we can just switch symbols to verify everything looks good. Looks like we're correct. And then we need to enter all the parameters. So again, double click. This one's going to be the instance name. And these are going to be the instance values. and we can update the tables. You'll notice there's a lot of extra entries in here. It's because it's showing all the values for all parameters. And that's where the filters come in handy. So to apply the filters, what we want to do 
is go in the repeat region menu and select on filters. Now it says to select a region, so we'll do that. And we'll add new filters. And so for the filter syntax, it's the ampersand and then fam.inst.param.name and then two equal signs and the parameter name. So for the first one, we'll call out shaft height. We'll just kind of copy this for future use. And we'll say OK. And then we'll say done, because we have to move on to the next region. So we're going to have to say filters again, pick the region, add, and just keep repeating the process. So this one's going to be diameter. Done, done, return. So this one will be hex height and the last one and now we can see we basically have a table appearing exactly as the top one but we can actually go in here and, and use relations or further apply filters to change the display of the repeat region to better suit our needs. Thank you very much and hope this was helpful.